you so much for joining us this morning. Well, ten years ago, Camilla Sacadella was at the top of her game and a household name as a professional dancer on the UK's Strictly Come Dancing. But after winning the show, she made the controversial decision to quit and reinvent her life. She is now an author, life and mindful living coach, hypnotherapist and mediation facilitator. She is here to tell us about her latest book, Reinvent Me. Thank you so much for joining us. Yes. Thanks for having me. I love watching you guys on TV from my hotel. Oh, thanks. <laughs> I like that. Yeah. We're going to get a little bit of info, a little bit of gossip a little bit later on about Dancing with the Stars yeah. as well. But let's start with you and your background. So tell us a little bit about your dancing background. How long have you been dancing for? Well, dancing was my life. And that leads to why I actually wrote the book. Because I, I sort of think I learned to walk and dance at the same time at about two and a half years old. And then dancing basically became my life. And I suppose my identity. I was like Camilla the Dancer. Mm. Uh, until after Strictly Come Dancing, when I sort of woke up in my mid-30s and thought, hang on, what's just happened? I'm 35. I've done this, you know, I thought dancing was everything I ever wanted to do. And suddenly I just felt really lost and empty inside. I was like, I don't really want to do this anymore. I was tired. I was really exhausted, actually. And I, I see this a lot with clients and people who've read the book, that when you've done something for many years and you think that's all you want to do in life, and then suddenly you wake up thinking, actually, I don't want to do this anymore. Yeah. But it must be scary, though, because, you know, you're very successful, very popular, and all of a sudden, I'm going to reinvent myself. How do you make that switch? It was scary. And that's why I ended up creating the eight-step program in the book, because I did, I was kind of lost for a year. And um, I think a lot of people go through that. If you're even breaking up from a marriage or a relationship, or whether it's career or just personally, when you sort of just think, what's next in my life? And you don't know how you're going to earn money, what that next step is going to mm. look like. Because I gave up a very lucrative mm. living and mm. a job, which people thought I was mad to give that up. That can be a really big thing to do. Yeah. So how long did it actually take you from waking up and making that decision to actually leaving and making it all happen? So to be completely honest, I think about three years. I kind of knew it was coming. And every time they asked me to do another series back home, I was like, I kind of feel done. I feel tired, but I carried on. I'll do one more series of Strictly Come Dancing. I'll do one more series. <laughs> yeah. And then the last year, I literally, and I found this is some of the stories I've shared of other people too. I could not deny that feeling inside that I needed to do something else. So how do you action that though? Mm, here's the, the book. Thing, right? <laughs> here's the book. Well, that's the point. Little by little, you know, uh, not everybody wants to move countries or do something completely different like I did. But little by little, sort of start to nurture the things that you enjoy, the passions, the hobbies that might kind of ignite that kind of light, that fire within again. So it's little step by step, you'll get there. Mm. Okay, what made you uh, decide to come to New Zealand and take on Dancing with the Stars? Because I've missed New Zealand. It, it sounds, I don't know, odd maybe, but I feel at home here. And ever since I came here the first time, I think in... I don't know, 2000 or 1999 or something to, to become a New Zealand champion. I always just felt at home. I love the food here. I love the people. I, I just, I mean, the country is magical. Because you've got this connection, haven't you, through yeah. New Zealand? Yes. I was a New Zealand champion because I used to um, obviously live as a life partner with Brendan Cole, who I'm sure a lot of people know from the show too. Yeah. So I guess the whole book, Reinvent Me, as you said, take your passion. So you've kept that passion that you love, but you've just sprinkled it around. Yeah, I think through dancing, actually, as an athlete, you are, you're always pushed way over your limit, right? Mm -hmm. So we used a lot of mind tools, which included NLP, mindfulness, meditation, special visualization, which is something even the celebrities on, the, on Dancing mm. with the Stars, I'm sure they're visualizing their routines. Yeah. All of that really helps. And I just thought when I went through a tough personal time, I started using those tools I'd used to win and succeed in life on, my, on a personal level to feel yeah. better inside. And I just wanted to share that with people. If people feel stuck or lost, I just wanted to share that. So you've got the book, sorry, you've got the book. Um, how is it laid out and how would I use it? Yeah, so it's literally laid out. I, I use the system that I used myself and that I use with my clients. So it's an eight step program and there is an online link as well where you can have you know, free uh, hypnosis and meditations and visualizations. So it's very kind of practical. So it's not so much about my story, it's about you, you know, it's about the person at home. So you could use this as an insurance policy because I guess part <laughs> of, uh, you know, reinventing yourself, there must be some regret about the decisions you make that will help you through those? Well, I think reinventing is like an interesting word because it's saying, I'm trying to say everything you've done before has led you to this now. So right. nothing is wasted. You are here for a reason. You're doing these changes and you can use whatever you've learned before in a new way. And that's what I've, I mean, look how my life has come full circle. I put on my vision board in 2009. My dream was to be a judge on Dancing with the Stars, but I wow. never imagined it would be as magical as this to be back here in New Zealand. That's yeah. even better than I it's could perfect. have imagined. 
How tough has it been as head judge? <sighs> They've really put me in it, haven't they? Well, yeah. They've thrown you under the bus a few times. Except from this week. This week you got off all right, but the, the previous weeks, not so much. With Susie, I was, I, was honest, I was honestly emotionally drained. I never thought, I know what it's like standing there as a professional dancer, if, if you feel upset, but to see Susie's face and the tears, I, I couldn't hold it together. I was, I was so sad. Who has impressed you the most on the show, do you think? Oh, wow. Because Chris Harris has impressed me the most. So much. Honestly, his footwork, I mm. don't know if the people could see it at home, was, like, impeccable. It's amazing. But also Sam. I mean, where, where did that happen? She just came out like a professional at the weekend. Oh, no, you're right. The, yes, the other night, <laughs> she had her moment, really, right? didn't she? She had her moment. She looks incredible. I'm actually thinking David Seymour this past week, though, has actually impressed me. Oh, yes, um, she how, did. Do you, how well did you know the other judges? Because obviously you've got to have this group dynamic. How well did you know them before Very well. we started? Very well. I've known uh, Jewel since he was 12 years old. So uh, we've, we've been through a lot together. First as his dance coach and later as his life coach. That I can share because he's shared it in magazines and papers before. And then um, Jules introduced me to Rachel. So we're actually friends from, from you know, back home in LA. That no. must help. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, but they always disagree anyway. Well, not honestly. Too. honestly. And do they disagree off screen as well? Do, do they you want to hear something funny? Yeah. yeah. Okay, the other day we were sat in the hotel having a discussion of which restaurant to go to. <laughs> and there's a man like listening in and he comes over and he goes, I thought this was only on screen. This happens on screen too. And at the end, I just had to make a decision. We're going there. <laughs> to be funny, as my kids were watching it with me the other night, they went, do they actually hate each other, those no, two judges? They there? And I went, no, they don't. No. They uh, actually respect each other. Hmm. But thank goodness, because otherwise I think it would be even trickier. <laughs> oh, brilliant. Love it. Well, Excellent. keep up the good work. Hey, well, it's been a pleasure yeah. having you thank in. You. Best of luck for, for the next me. couple of weeks. I need this book. Camilla's <laughs> book, Reinvent Me, How to Transform Your Life and Career, is available now. You can check out her Zen Me website for further details about Camilla and her work.